Welcome to the Dream Farm Workshop. This is where we prototype all of our products, develop our ideas, and turn them into inventions that we can sell in stores. Uh, today I'd like to take you through all of the different items that we have in the Ernia stores at the moment, and tell you a little bit about each of them. So if we start out with chops, these guys are little clips that slide onto the corners of chopping boards. So the idea with them is that they allow you to chop on one side, flip your board over and chop on the other side without getting anything on your bench because they actually raise the board off the bench by a few millimetres. Uh, they make the board non-slip because they're silicon, they grip the bench top and you have a cow on one side and a capsicum on the other so you know which side's for meat and which side's for vegetables. The cool thing about your chops is that they can be pulled on and off your board and applied to other boards because they're spring steel, they go back to their original shape very quickly and easily or they can stay on the board and go through the dishwasher as well. Then we have Chopula. Chopula is our sit-up chopping spatula. So the bend in the handle means that the head sits up away from your bench top, so when you put it down, the head isn't touching the bench and you don't get muck and, and dirt all over your benches. The idea with Chopula is that in one direction, it's really nice and rigid, and then in the other, it's beautifully flexible as well. Normally a spatula is thick and rigid or it's thin and flexible, but Chopula combines the best of both worlds. The other cool thing about Chopula is that the handle is actually off-center as well. So instead of coming out of the middle here, it comes out of the top of the head. And that allows, when you're cutting something in a pan, the handle isn't going to hit the side of the pan. There's extra clearance there. So it's available with a nylon head like this, which is safe to use on your non-stick cookware, but also with a stainless steel head, which has the exact same design and functionality, but it's designed to be used on cast iron cookware or things that don't have a non-stick coating, like a barbecue, for example. Then we have our clongs. So these are our click lock sit up tongs. Now the cool thing about the clongs is the bend in the handle, just like the chopula, means that the head sits up away from your bench top. It can also hook onto the side of a pan, but the button in the back opens and lo locks shut just with a press. So normally with a pair of tongs, you'd click them to open them, have to hold them shut and then pull that button out at the back, but with these, they lock all by themselves. They're available in the 12 inches like this or in 9 inches as well. And because of their silicon tips, they're uh, safe to use on non-stick cookware. And the little flattened, pre-flattened tip here means that they're actually really fantastic for picking up small pieces of food because the contact surface is larger than if it was a round tip like a lot of tongs are. Then we have Garject, which is probably one of our best selling, if not our best selling item. It's a garlic press that crushes multiple cloves of garlic with the skin still on scrapes itself clean and then ejects the peel. Now the way that it does that is we've got a nice big receptacle here for you to be able to fit plenty of garlic into. You don't peel your garlic first. It actually works better if the garlic is unpeeled. So then you crush away and normally you'd need a knife to scrape the excess garlic off that grill. But the cool thing about Garject is this scraper fin comes along and scrapes that for you. So if you're holding it that way, it's just going to fall straight into your food. Then you turn it around, point this face toward the trash, hit that button and it shoots out the peel for you. So you have nothing left in here, just rinse it under the tap or put it in the dishwasher and you're good to go. Now because this is chrome plated zinc, it won't turn black in your dishwasher. And we also have a nylon version. So the difference between the two is simply the material that they're made out of. The nylon version is just as strong because we've reinforced the handles and made the grill thicker. It has the same functionality with the same scraper on the front and the same eject button. It's just made out of a different material so it's available in different colours and it's at a cheaper price point. Then we have on pot. On pot is a pot lid rest. So the idea being when you're cooking and you want to take the lid off your pot for a while, if you put it face down, any condensation that's on the inside of the pot ends up on your bench top. If you put it up the other way, the handle's actually quite difficult to get to and you can burn yourself on a hot lid. So with on pot, 
it just suctions on to the lid of your pot and stays there so that you can rest the lid on the edge of your pot and then put it back on. There's nothing to clip or to have to pull out of a drawer, it just lives on the edge of your pot. Just like that. Then we have Sable, which is a food saver. Now with a normal food saver, it's a flat piece of plastic with a strap on it to hold your food in place. The difference between Sable and an average food saver is that Sable has a bend in its, in its hinge here, which allows you to bend the Sable to the shape of whatever food you have left. With a normal food saver, it's a flat piece of plastic that only allows you to save an exact half of something or something that's had a flat slice taken out of it. Whereas Sable will allow you to, to save something that's had a wedge taken out of it, like that, or simply the wedge itself, like that. So it's a lot more versatile than your average food saver. Then we have scissor. Scissor is a pair of pizza scissors. So instead of using a normal pizza roller where you go back and forth, scratch your pans, make a mess of your meal because the, the blade doesn't stay uh, sharp for very long. Scissor has a little latch in the back, unlock it there, they spring open. This nylon spatula is safe to use on non-stick surfaces. So that scoops underneath your pizza and then it's the top blade that drops down. So what you're cutting doesn't move and you can make clean, complete cuts through your pizza. The other great thing about them is you can actually undo the handles. So with this little uh, lock here, you can unlock that and have the blades sharpened. So they're not a throwaway product. They're something that if over time and with extended use, the blades do dull, then you can sharpen them and have them like new again. Alternatively, if you fold over a few pieces of aluminium foil or tin foil, if your scissors start to get a little bit blunt and cut through that folded over tin foil, it'll sharpen them up very quickly. Then we have Smood. Smood is our potato masher. With a traditional potato masher, you have a steel plate that has a series of holes in it. When there are small holes, what goes through is nice and creamy, but the majority of your potato just gets crushed and mushed out the sides. With large holes, you're not losing potato out the sides, but it's essentially cutting your potato into smaller parts. So you have to mash and mash and mash over and over again. With Smood, you're trapping your potato inside that spring, and as you press down, the spring collapses, and your potato has nowhere to go but between the gaps in those collapsing coils. So it makes smooth, creamy mash really quickly. It's essentially one press per potato, and you're done. We've also fashioned the end of the, the coil here um, into a, a silicon scraper. So you can use that to scrape everything out of your pans or move everything back into the center. Because Smood is a very highly polished stainless steel, it's safe to use on non-stick cookware. And we've also designed the handle in such a way that you can grab it like that and use your upper body strength to mash, or you can come over the top of it and use your body weight to mash. So it's really, really easy to use. Now, my absolute favorite Dream Farm product is our spoon. The reason that I love the spoon is because, again, you have the bend in the handle which keeps the head up away from the bench top. But the coolest thing about it in my mind is the fact that the sides are soft, which means you can scrape with it because it contours to the side of your bowl or pot and the flat tip, which like the flat tip on your clongs, allows for a greater contact surface. So if you're making a, a, a sauce or something in a pot where you don't want it to catch on the bottom of your pot, you can scrape everything with your spoon because it bends to the shape of your pot or your pan or your bowl. You also have a teaspoon measure and a tablespoon measure built into the head of the spoon, so there's less to clean up. And again, because the bend in the handle is there, it's got a built-in spoon rest so nothing gets on your benches. We also have a mini version of the spoon, which strangely we call the mini spoon. Um, it has a, an exact teaspoon measure, the same bend in the handle so that the head sits up away from the bench top, 
but again, it's really, really nice and flexible, which means that you can use it to get into every last little bit of a jar. Because it has a nice narrow profile, you can get it into tall, thin jars, and thanks to the flexibility of its tip, it will scrape every last little bit out, including that last bit of Nutella or peanut butter that sits at the top of the jar that you can never get at. The mini spoon will scrape every last little bit out for you. Then we have Tifu, which is our silicon tea infuser. Now the problem with a normal tea infuser is that with a metal ball, which is what most tea infusers are, they're rigid. You can't squeeze them, you can't force water in and out of them at all. But with, uh, with Tifu, because it's silicon, you can squeeze it, which forces water in and out of the infuser pod, brewing your tea a lot faster, and then when you're done, pull it out, squeeze out the drips, and stand it up. To open it, there's a button here that actually says push. So you push that button and it springs open. So it's just this one here. So then you scoop your tea into it and because of the way that the seal is designed, they come together nicely. You're not gonna lose any tea leaves into your brew and you can make quick tea without the mess. And then last but not least, we have Vivo. So Vivo comes in two sizes. It's a silicon steamer that squashes down to fit the height of your pot. So that means you'll always be able to get your pot lid on, locking in your heat, locking in the steam, cutting your cooking time, and also reducing the risk of your pot boiling dry. So when you're steaming, you just fill up to just below that raised floor there, that little line. If you're boiling, fill up accordingly, and pop the lid on and you're ready to go. Because Vivo is made out of silicon, it doesn't get hot. So you can pull it straight out of the pot and put it on your sink to strain. I use the large Vivo to wash veg vegetables, to steam things. Um, it's replaced a colander in my home. Because it squashes down, it stores in an empty pot and doesn't take up extra cupboard space. Uh, the little one's good for one or two people and the larger one's better for a family if you're cooking for friends as well. So there you have it. That is the Dream Farm range. If there's anything we can help with, just let us know. Um, and we really look forward to growing our, growing our range with you in the Yernia stores. Thanks again, guys.